Charles. 1979, the year that a bunch of grisly murders happened here at these lovely campgrounds, here at Maple Lodge campsite. Thomas Thomas was brutally murdered by five teenage campers willing to exact revenge on him for reasons unknown. I'm Jason Darkwing, and tonight I am joined by wicked good ghost hunting extraordinaire, Ronnie. He is working as my intern for the next couple of months. He speaks when only one spoken to. Ronnie, you may speak. I, I, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm Ronald. Uh, That's Tommy enough from Ronnie. Ronnie. I'm, I'm Ronald. Like I said, uh, my friends call me Ronnie. Most people actually call me Ronnie. I, I go by Ronnie. Um, college student, film student. Uh, Donnie. Mister... Donnie. Donnie. Uh, it's, it's Ronnie. Uh, what is it? It's Ronnie. Roll, Roland? Oh, R- Ronnie. Ron- okay, Ronnie. Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie. Okay, uh, listen, time is money. We have to find the ghost. So, uh, you know, chop chop. Today, on the night of Hallow's Eve, we are wearing the face of our predators in order to sell merch, but really to instill fear on our predators as they come to take our lives. But really, we're just trying to sell merch. You can buy these masks on jasondarkwing.com. Only $5.50 each mask. Today, we will be talking with the resident camp counselor, ja, uh, J- James Br- Berman. Uh, what, what is uh, it? No, I just I just told you my name. My name is Paul. Paul Van Ver- Hoven. I'm the one who called you over. Do I really need to wear this mask? Yeah, you have to wear the mask. How else are we supposed to sell the merch? It was part of the contract. Uh, uh, all, all right, all right. As long as yeah. you help me get rid of this damn ghost, dude. So, John, what's been happening here at Maple Lodge campsite? It's it's Paul. Paul, right, Paul. So, so Paul, what's been happening here at Maple Lodge campsite? Well, you know, we, we've been open for uh, about twenty years, and. Uh, Kids seem to go missing just about just about every year, and uh, well, this year is no different. And uh, well, I, I figured it's about time we we figure it out. Kids have gone missing here at the Maple Lodge campsite. I, oh, we always Jason find Darkwood. them. I should point out. We always find them. There's never been a, uh, hey, a situation you want, you want, you want, where you want to talk, the child. You want to talk real quick, Paul? You want to talk real quick, Paul? When I'm doing my talking. You pause for Jason Darkman. Do you understand that? Y- yes, sir. All right. To the campgrounds. So yeah, we've been having some some weird things happening here, and uh, well, Nightwing was the cheapest option on Craigslist. It was here, on these very grounds, that Thomas Thomas was murdered. Wait, is his name really Thomas Thomas? That's what the note said. It, it is, uh, unfortunately. He has yes. two first names. As... Okay. So, Mr. Darkwing keeps saying time is money. I don't know what that means in this context or really in general, but uh, he's very committed to, to that. So, time isn't, is money. Isn't he paying your bills? Wouldn't that make sense? He's not paying me. Um, he said that... I will get three college credits if I help him film this episode. Found the power. Thanks, yeah. Ronnie. Uh, no problem. Now, Ronnie and I will investigate one of the last known places that Thomas Thomas was seen alive. The boys' tent. One of the last places he was seen alive was the boys' tent? That's weird. Ronnie, inside. Why are we using these UV lights to- Oh my god, what the fuck? What is that? Oh, oh It's everywhere! On the ceiling? In the shoes? Oh my god, I gotta get out of here. Thomas Thomas, in his spectral form, seems to be rubbing ectoplasm amongst the very walls of this tent. Yeah, that's not ectoplasm. Thomas Thomas! Um, Where did the children is, murder you? This is getting real. <gasps> what the oh, fuck? Okay, something just breathed in my ear. 
Was that you, Ronnie? It, it was the spirit of Thomas um, Thomas. He haunts these very grounds. Yeah, totally. So, like, are, are those real or, okay. like... On a night, very much like tonight, Thomas Thomas was brutally murdered. Uh, it wasn't exactly like tonight, though. What? Here, on this full moon night, we are up in front of the cabin where Thomas Thomas was presumably murdered. Evan, give us more information about the murder of it's Thomas Thomas. Paul. Paul, right. So, Paul. just to be clear, no children have died, wink, wink. I know I'm wearing a mask, but I'm winking at you, not wink. <laughs> And, uh, well, so, so Thomas Wait. Thomas went, hmm? What'd you just call me? Uh, Nightwing? It was Darkwing! A lot of us were pretty glad when he went missing. And, uh, you know, but it is, it is concerning, to say the least. Uh, I do believe we will find him. And, uh, well, do you want to come in my house? Absolutely. Ronnie, go inside with Paul. Okay. All right, Ronnie, so these are my knives. I oh, keep them real sharp, you know, just for, for cutting vegetables and things like oh, that. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. It's for cutting vegetables. Yeah, so, like, Paul seems like a nice, chill guy. He definitely killed Thomas, for sure. Ronnie, did you find the ghost yet? I, not yet. Still, still looking. Your grade's on the line here, Ronnie. I'll get right on it. This is my favorite show. Thomas Thomas approaches us. God. Darkwing, am I gonna die? We may all die here, soldier. <laughs> Wait, really? One of the most important things a ghost hunter needs to do is inspect the utilities of the property that the ghost is hunting. At times, faulty hmm? utilities may lead to the residents of the property experiencing psychotic events that would otherwise be attributed to a ghost hunting them. As part of this, I and Ronnie will walk amongst um... the buildings Foundation. I don't know if that's necessary. Everything should be up to code. No, we got to. Like, it's like one, that. It's uh, part of the procedure. Okay. Um, are you maybe we, maybe are you we should just see the inside's much more interesting. Really. Oh! Hey, uh, hey, uh, Evan. There's, uh, seems to be some trash underneath here. I don't know what you're piling up that for. Trash? What, uh, what do you mean by trash? Hey, you got some trash bags over what there. In the... What? What is that? They smell like death. I'm really sure that uh, Paul killed Thomas. So, uh, this might not be worth three college credits the more I'm thinking about it. Hey, Ronnie, you gonna help Paul uh, take out that trash? Oh, yeah, definitely. There's no fucking way I'm touching that body. What the? Uh, Jason? What is it? I know you're having your coffee break, but... What's that? Oh my god. Paul, Paul did you play hockey at some point? Paul, is that yours? <laughs> uh, no. No, it's not. Never, never seen it. Never it's heard of it. Never, never seen the movie. What? Yeah, why'd you uh, bring a knife? Um, oh, look at that. What is this? <clears throat> this is a rendition of a song I made in a past life of mine. Hope you like it. I said, maybe you're gonna be the one that saves me. So Paul's dead. But who's Paul? He's, he's the guy who owns the campground person who brought us here. Oh, you he's mean dead. Josh? Oh, it's... Okay, yeah, fine. Josh is dead. 
Josh is Josh has been killed by Thomas Thomas. Another He's victim like really falls. Dead. We should leave no. and call the police. What? No, our, we are it? we are contracted to identify this ghost. Yeah, but we we're contracted by Paul, and Paul's dead. Oh, Paul! I thought you meant Josh. It's a pretty scary night. Um, ghosts are real. Uh, Paul was a murderer, and then he got killed by a ghost. So all's well that ends well. Jason. Ronnie's dead. Who? R Ronnie, the intern. Oh, Ronnie. Ronnie, come on, get up. You're get up there, Ronnie, come on. Ronnie, I don't care how many drugs you smoked last night. We're on a job. Hey, camera guy, when he, when he gets up, tell me he's got to pick up the equipment. What the fuck?